Todd Brand than it is today. The turkey festive for me sounds amazing, and I love how you incorporate the caramel and fat day of onions <laughs> on the sandwich. I hear the chicken salad here is addictive, and everybody comes in for it. What makes it so special? Well, those are special seasonings. Stop watching this idiot box. You'll become an idiot yourself. She's right. What is the first letter of idiot? I. <laughs> Correct. You. <laughs> Today, we are here to tell you that television is not an idiot box and is very wrongly named so. Information television, news television, entertainment television, education television, weather, culture, sports, and much more. Television. It is an undeniable fact that television is one of the greatest sources of information and it would not be right to address it as idiot box. The problem does not lie with television. The problem lies with us. An overdose of anything is going to create a problem, right? Absolutely. And it's not just television. This applies to everything that we have around us. And the choice is ours. To be smart or to be an idiot. So, remember. It's I for idiot and it's I who makes the choices. So don't blame the television. Twenty first November is celebrated as the World Television Day. In nineteen ninety six, the United Nations proclaimed this day as World Television Day in order to commemorate the date on which the first World Television Forum was held. The two-day discussion of United Nations highlighted the increasing importance of television in the changing world and its ability to enhance their mutual cooperation. United Nations recognized that television definitely has a huge impact on decision making and also acknowledged this medium as a major tool of information and channelization which does affect public media. It has been understood that television is instrumental in bringing world attention to conflicts and threats to peace and security and has undoubtedly contributed towards sharpening the focus on major issues including economic as well as social ones. It was during the 1920s that an American inventor by the name of Philo Taylor Farnsworth II developed the first all-electronic television system. It is difficult to give credit to any one person for the invention of television. But Philo Farnsworth is considered to be the television pioneer because of his major contributions to the early development of all electronic television. There are many inventors who claimed for their patent, but two names are definitely the pillars of this invention. The second name being John Logie Baird. John Logie Baird is called the father of television. He is known for the invention of the mechanical television. The word television is derived from the ancient Greek word televisio. In Greek, tele means far and visio means sight. Hey! That reminds me of the Indian TV network Doordarshan, which almost means the same. In Hindi, Door means far and Darshan means viewing. The abbreviation TV came into existence in 1948 and the term television set dates back to 1941. Presenting to you some fun facts about this amazing invention called 
television. We hope you enjoy knowing these just like the way we enjoyed discovering the same throughout our research. It was way back in 1936, somewhere in UK, that the world's first ever high definition television system was launched. The British High Definition TV service started trials in August 1936 and a regular service on 2nd November same year. In March 1954, Westinghouse produced the first color television set. A 15-inch screen was sold for $1,000 and now compare that to the price of a Chevy Bel Air car which was $1,095 at that time. Sony Watchman, the portable pocket television, was introduced in 1982. These were mass produced and trademarked by Sony, but discontinued in 2000. The first television remote was developed in 1950 by Zenith. And do you know what they named it? Lazy Bones! Just so, so apt. Henna. So, those were some of the fun facts about television. We must stop addressing it as an idiot box. And our video has given all of us enough reasons for why we shouldn't be doing this. Television has become an important part of our life. But yes, how much importance we have to give it and for what? The choice is in our hands, just like the way the remote is on off when you want television is a superb tool and creates awareness about crucial issues in life we learn so much through current affairs and all different kinds of shows and programs television encourages curiosity across all spheres right from science to culture to all and enhances our knowledge in our field of interest Greetings from Lively Mom Squad. So what are you going to do today on World Television Day? Watch TV? Nah, not just that. You will also watch this video and share it with your friends and join us in this mission to get the wrong tag off the wonderful invention called television. It is not an idiot box. Keh diya. Bas. Keh diya. We look forward to your support as well as your valuable comments and feedback. It really encourages each one of us. Do like and share the video. And also please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do click on the bell icon so that you are notified about our next video. Thank you so much. Take care and stay safe.